Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, very well, welcome. My name is Titi and if you're returning, thank you so much for returning for this week's video. If you're a subscriber, thank you double much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, um, I will urge you to subscribe. Um, it just helps with all the analytics uh, for my channel, which would be great. So click that subscribe button. So last week, guys, I spoke about the Mason Lancome set. This one, Le Parfum Grand Cru. And I spoke about Rose's Berberanza. And I did say that I will be reviewing the rest of them today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you're interested, stay tuned and keep watching. It contains Jasmine Marzipan, Rose's Berberanza, Santo Cardamom and Oud Bouquet. And these are... Um, all 14 mil each um, and this retails somewhere between 120 and 100 and maybe 140 depending on the retailer I got it for 125 so I'll leave all the links down below hopefully they haven't discontinued the set because I know that some of these fragrances um, like Rose's Beverage have now been discontinued and um, so today I am just going to talk about each one and uh, very very briefly because I don't want to make this video too long and um, so yeah let's get straight to it so the very first one in the set is Jasmine Marzipan. Uh, so I'll just get that out. Now I'm just gonna go through the notes in this very quickly. I've already sprayed these on myself today. Um, and I'm just gonna go through each one. I've tried them before as well, so I know what the performance is like. So yeah, let's go guys. So the notes in Jasmine Marzipan are Jasmine Sambac, Jasmine, Almond Wood, Musk, Bourbon Vanilla, Cashmere Wood, and Sandalwood. I think this one smells like cake. If you love cake this is the smell of cake okay for me it has such a great skin chemistry for me the moment i sprayed it and i smelled it i just thought wow that is that is quite something it's such a gorgeous gorgeous jasmine it's just jasmine overload it's so animalic it's a bit musky this is the ultimate jasmine scent it just it just honestly the the blend is just so so beautiful even though this is a jasmine scent, it's not too, it's not overly floral because I'm not too keen on floral scents myself, but I have been noticing recently that, you know, the more I try certain floral scents, it actually smells pretty amazing. And um, this does have some woody notes to it, but again, not the main note. I think this is more sort of clean, quite fresh. And um, the floral notes are very bearable as well. And it's just such elegance um, in a bottle. So I really, really love this. I think once I've gone through each one, another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rate um, all four and just tell you which one is my least favorite and which one is my favorite one. So the next one in the set, guys, is Rose's Berberanza. So I already spoke about this last week. Again, um, this is just amazing. It's great. It's the, the opening is not great. The opening is not great, I'll give you that, but just give it 10, 15 minutes and you are in for a real, real treat. It just dries down into this beautiful, amazing, gourmet, vanilla, ice cream, honey, syrup, you name it. It's all in this scent right here. I live for Rose's Fair Bronzer. And now this has been discontinued, I was saying before, I'm gonna make this work and I'm going to make this last me a long time. So there we go. There's Rose Berberanza. Um, if you want more detail about this, I'll leave the link to the video down below because I gave it its own video. It is that beautiful, okay? So I'll leave the link down below, guys. So the next one in the set, set is Santo Cardamom. Since Santo Cardamom for me is woody, is creamy, the notes in Santo Cardamom are the top notes are mandarin, orange, pink pepper, bergamot. The middle notes are cinnamon, liquor, orange blossom, neroli, and pepper. And the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, leather, amber wood, cashmere, birch, and patchouli. So cardamom, sandalwood is all present. This is more of a woody scent. The last two that I spoke about, roses, berberanza, and, and jasmine marzipan, they're more of a sweet type, gourmet type scent, quite animalic. And I think those are more suited to the feminine side. These are all unisex fragrances. But I think the, those other two are more suited to the feminine side. This one now, however, is one in the set that I think is probably more suited to the masculine uh, masculine side, uh, just because the woody notes are a bit more present in this one. And um, that's not to say a woman can't wear it. Obviously, these are all unisex, like I said. Um, 
this is unapologetic it's just so woody you know it's just no complexity to it at all the moment you smell it what you get from the opening is it just carries on to the dry down uh, there's no complexity to this at all it's quite simple you just get what you smell basically it doesn't really develop into anything and um, complex so this one is also great it's very dark it's more it's more sort of dark more leather type of smell very masculine as well i mean these are beautiful scents i absolutely absolutely rate um, mason and lancome they do so well and i absolutely absolutely adore these scents so the very last one is oud bouquet and this is uh, this baby right here so oud bouquet for me is more of an amber vanilla uh, type of scent the notes in oud bouquet are agarwood which is oud praline vanilla rose and saffron so oud bouquet for me is a bit of an amber vanilla so amber is not actually one of the top notes but I detect amber in Oud Bouquet. It's quite sultry, it's dark, it's honey-like. It's not very oudy though. Um, I think this is more of a Oud Vanilla type scent. A little bit like what you get from Satin Mood. So that sort of vanilla Oud type of um, combination is what I get from Oud Bouquet. I think this is probably less sweet. This is probably slightly more oudy. Um, so I know that there's been a couple of formulations with Oud Bouquet and I think this is the newest formulation. Um, I, I still like it though, you know, I still think it's more sharp, it's more prominent and again, they're kind of the same to me, not that much different. I know some people absolutely hate the new formulation, they prefer the old one. I mean, each to their own, that's great, but I still think that this really, really works well. I think the only only small um difference is that the old um, formulation got more of the oud so that was a bit more oudy whereas this probably has more of the vanilla um sort of amber um, tones to it as well in terms of projection and siage this fragrance is at 10 out of 10 for me the longevity is great as well you get eight hours plus you know quite easily um so you know it's a real real like big tick so out of this four my very favorite my number one is roses berberanza followed by jasmine marzipan followed by oud bouquet and my very least favorite is santo cardamom that's not to say i don't love it because it is absolutely brilliant but if i was to go if i was to rate them that is how i would rate them um so yeah guys um this is the set right here quite beautiful these are 14 mil each um, and I think it's really, 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 really um, worth the price tag. Some of these individual bottles are, you know, we all know they carry quite a hefty price tag. So I think this is a good way to actually get your hands on four different scents um, for a great price. So yeah, there you go. So I will leave all the links down below, guys. Um, also, if you don't know, you can get all your decants from decantx.com. Use my code TT17 to get 17% off your purchases. Um, so yeah, there you go guys, use my discount code. If you haven't yet subscribed, can I urge you to subscribe? Click the subscribe button, like, comment. If you own any of these four, leave all your comments down below. There's something I haven't said that you're interested in. Again, ask all your questions down below as well. Follow me on Instagram. There's my um, link right there. It's tt underscore Oguntade. Um, so yeah, so you can keep up with everything. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.